let's say you are thinking of upgrading your office version maybe you are using office 2019 or 2021 and curious if office 2024 is really worth it well microsoft has packed office 2024 with some of major upgrades that could make a real difference in how you work and it is across excel word powerpoint or even microsoft visio there is a lot to uncover in this video, we will break down the top 19 new features that comes with Office 2024. So you know exactly what's new, what's improved, and let's say these changes mean for you. Stick around to see if these updates are productivity boost if you have been waiting for. Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Technoholic, where we cover productivity related topics. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first feature that I would like to talk about is new default Office theme. Based on the feedback from users, Office 2024 now has more natural and consistent experience within and between a different different Office apps. This new look applies according to Microsoft Fluent Design Principles to deliver an intuitive, familiar experience across all your application. The next feature is improved accessibility tools. Office LTSE 2024 has added several new and improved features to make your documents, slideshows, workbooks, and email more accessible to everyone that one can find in review tab under check accessibility. The next feature here I would like to talk about is inserting picture from a mobile device. It used to take several steps to transfer emails from your phone to computer but now you can use Android device to insert picture directly into content in Office LTSE 2024. All you need to do is you need to go to insert tab and here if I click on picture here you can see the option of a mobile device. All we need to do here is we need to scan this QR code and need to connect Android phone through Windows app. The next feature here is support for open document format or ODF. The Office now includes support for open document format which enable you to save your document as ODF. For that, let's click here on file and go to save as and then um, if I click here on DOCX, here you will be able to see this ODT which one may feel slightly confusing because I was saying ODF but um, yeah, I mean ODF is open document format but when it comes to extension, it is open document text. Now there is one more cool thing. Um, let me again go back here. Let me write here something. YouTube is an excellent platform to share content and videos. Now let's say I would like to make a comment here. So basically here, if you share this file with someone, one can actually give a reaction like this. So now here you can see I can like it as well. Now let's come to Excel. Um, in case of Excel, now one will see the dynamic charts with dynamic array. So um, let me actually open Excel. And let's see if I do have got any chart. Okay, so here we have got some data. And if I convert this to a table, then probably um, if I use any chart here. So let's go here and insert and I'm going to choose bar chart and if I add new value here here we can see this is automatically getting updated so basically chart automatically update to capture all the data when the array recalculate rather than being fixed or specific number of data point the next option here is text and array function there are now total 14 new text and array function in excel 2024 that are designed to help you to manipulate text and array in your worksheet. These functions make it easier to extract and split text string and enable you to combine, reshape, resize and select array with ease. And if you want to know more about these, then um, here I'm going to put this reference link in the description of this video. So here you can see there are a lot of different examples of this new feature. The next capability that I would like to talk with you about is new image function. Now in Excel 2024, you can add picture to your workbook using copy and paste or you can use image function to pull pictures from web. 
You can also easily move, resize and short filters within an Excel table without image moving around. And using it, I would say, is pretty easy. Now let's talk about next feature in Office 2024. And for that, I need to take you to Microsoft PowerPoint. So let me now open PowerPoint. And here what we can do is we can insert our live camera feed directly into a PowerPoint slide, which is I would say pretty easy for that. Let's go here in insert and then uh, we need to choose Cameo, okay? And then I'm gonna save this slide. And there we go. Now all here, what we need to do is we need to select back this Cameo and um, need to go to this camera format and here, I need to select my camera feed. So here, this is my camera feed and if I want to preview it, so here I can see myself. And then there are different, different way how we can see it, um, which I would say you can choose based on your requirement. And this, I think, is also applicable when uh, you are actually presenting it on real time. So this is, again, I would say quite cool. And not only that, now you can present your PPT live, but you can also record it. So um, here, we should be getting this record button or record option. So let's click on it. And now we are in record mode. And it seems like there are some instructions here that one can follow. And then um, I think all I need to do is I need to click on start recording and then um, it will also start recording my complete presentation. And then after the presentation got finished, you can click on stop. And then uh, I think one can see it. And um, here we are also getting option to export it. So if I click here on browse and can choose where we want to export it, um, in this way, we are exporting this presentation as a video. So I would say this feature is really nice to have. So this is the video. I'll also start recording my complete presentation. And then after the presentation got finished. So in this way, guys, we can also record our presentation. Now let's talk about another feature, which is embedded Microsoft Stream on SharePoint videos. So let's say if you are using it for commercial purpose and you also utilize Microsoft SharePoint. So you might be aware of uh, there is a separate streaming service known as Stream. So let me actually have a look at it here. So what now we can do is um, we can basically locate the video and just need to copy the URL. We can insert and embed a video online. Now let's talk about the next feature here, which is um, adding closed caption for your video and audio. Now in PowerPoint, whether you are using Mac or Windows, you can add closed caption or subtitle to your video or audio file in your presentation. Adding closed caption makes your presentation accessible to larger audience, including people with hearing disabilities and who speak language other than one in your video. 
or in short non-native speakers and um, again it, it is pretty easy all you need to do is first of all you need to import a video and then here you will see option in playback which talk about insert caption so all we need to do is you need to click on insert caption and then you need to locate this web vtt file which uh, if you do not have you can go and search online for a level tool to create vtt file such that we can add closed caption talking about the next feature here is improve search for email calendar and contacts in microsoft outlook and actually i already have created a dedicated video around it you may now see the newer version of outlook that is far more capable in terms of improved search and also do not hang like the previous generations of outlook and the credit goes to the newer method or way to access these email um, and then a lot of application now do not use imap or pop type of internet message protocol not only that office 2024 and specifically in case of outlook gives user more option while creating or managing meeting helping you to carve out break between calls by automatically shortening the meeting depending on their length which again i would say is pretty easy just you need to go to settings and then in settings go to calendar then event and invitation and then here you can select shorten duration for all events and then here we can define which events or how much you want to shorten them and then simply click on save then let's talk about the next capability here which is improved recover your word file and document and here we can see what's new in this update is if we see a multiple file in available file list on document recovery pane and not sure that which one to save the date and creation time of any automatic document appear under the document name and may give you a clue which file you want to recover so here we are seeing date and time which i would say is nice to have and to understand which one you want to recover then there are some more updates related to microsoft onenote which include improved draw tab and ink features so now if i click here on draw tab first of all here you can see now we have got this full page view um, which used to exist but now they have specifically added it here microsoft onenote ltsc 2024 has many new features and update to existing tool to make your inking and draw tab experience more robust and customizable now your ink will render instantly when drawn with surface pen unfortunately i don't have and look as good as traditional ink on paper i mean this is microsoft claim and for that i probably may use my pen tab and let's see if i see any difference here um hello there and yes the way the ink work is better than before and if you might have seen the previous inking experience sometime you will see the thickness is quite uniform so here you can see here it is slightly thicker here is slightly thinner and definitely they, they did something here and i can see with same existing hardware the response is better than before then there is addition of access data versus connector with power platform which i would say is great news for those users who use microsoft access to store data and also utilize microsoft power apps now the last feature that i would like to talk with you about is related to microsoft visio visio 2024 now has even more shapes stencils and template to help you to create diagrams visio standard 2024 now bring many new icons sticky notes to brainstorm and plethora of infographics like pictograms and to-do list to name a few and unfortunately i do not have microsoft visio but i'm gonna attach this what's new link in the description of this video if you are interested in microsoft visio or probably in my upcoming video i may cover this aspect and there you have it the top 19 new features in microsoft office 2024 and Office LTSE 2024. From enhanced visuals to smarter workflow, Microsoft has packed Office 2024 with the tools that make working smarter, faster, and more collaborative. And I also hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content related to productivity 
and I will catch you soon with one chat in the video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.